So from a pure tax perspective, it's very beneficial to pay um, a small salary and the rest dividends. Um, and that's because dividends are not subject to national insurance and also the, the, the income tax rate is, is lower. But obviously now with the increase in corporation tax from 1st of April 2023, there's more emphasis of looking at um, the, the, the split of, of salary versus dividends to get the most optimum position, not just personally, but also for the company perspective. Also as well, um, there are other factors to consider, not just tax. Um, for example, um, uh, pension contributions, if, if somebody wanted to do personal pension contributions, they're based on net relevant earnings and dividends are not treated as net relevant earnings for pension purposes. Similarly for mortgage applications, um, mortgage, com mortgage brokers or lenders will want details of, uh, net of earnings um, from salaries, P60s and so on and so forth. It's, it's, it, whilst um, most lenders understand um, an owner-managed business model, it does create some potential problems if it's a very small salary and the rest are, are, are dividends. Um, and coming back to a tax point as well, if the company uh, does research and development claims, research and development claims are normally based on salaries as, as a percentage and that's how it's, it, the, 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 the qualifying expenditure is calculated, it's based on salaries. So actually, it might be beneficial where there's a company with research and development uh, to have a slightly higher salary and therefore the, it can maximise research and development claims. So there's no right or wrong answer. Um, it needs to be taken as a whole and each individual circumstance can differ.